Good morning and welcome back to Joe's Allotment Channel. Um, as always, thank you to Dive Behind the Camera. Um, today what I'm going to be doing is putting some tomatoes into the cold greenhouse. Um, what, what I've done is I've, I've left some plants in here for the last few nights just to see if they, um, if more of it's warm enough or cold enough or is it, it's okay to, to plant them out now. And they've survived quite well, no damage at all. And they've been dropping to sort of five or six degrees at night, but it's about eight degrees in here I think, so it's not too bad. Um, but it depends on what part of the country you're in. Different parts of the country have got different last frost dates. Um, I think here in Kent we're about 21st to 30th of March, which is not too bad, but if you're in other parts of the country, it can change quite substantially. I know in Edinburgh, I think the last frost date's in May. But um, what I'll do is I'll put a link at the bottom uh, for something called Plant Maps, which gives you an indication of where, wherever you live in the country, or wherever you live in the world apparently, um, it will show you the last frost date for your region. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some money makers in today, and I'm going to put some peppers in here as well, and a couple of eggplants as well. Um, the only thing is, though, I've had to clear out my um, shelf, which means I've lost my shelf in the greenhouse now. Um, so we've got this greenhouse here, and we've got another one down the allotment, and I'll be planting out the tomatoes and peppers in the next few few days hopefully and I think I'll have to transport a lot of this stuff down to the allotment as well it's getting quite packed in here now so I need some room to plant the tomatoes basically so um, I'll have to put, put some shelving up in the greenhouse down the, down the allotment and start moving some of this stuff out a lot of stuff needs repotting as well cabbages are up broccoli's up lots of things are up that need repotting now as well so what I do is every year at the end of the um, growing season I'll take out some of the soil from the greenhouse and I'll replace it with a uh, compost from our compost bins to, to give it sort of more nutrition every year otherwise you lose nutrition over a period so every year I replace some of the soil with compost. My right, tomatoes are probably the most um, grown crop in greenhouses in the UK really uh, and for us they're, they're, they're a very important crop we use tomatoes in a, a lot of our recipes, like most people do. But what we do is we try and preserve as much as we can um, when they're in full crop, the indoor ones and the outdoor ones. We'll cook a load up with peppers and onions and garlic and basil, whatever we've got growing at that time. Make it into batches and freeze it into batches of uh, into bags or into boxes. So we've got a ready-made sort of base for a crop. We freeze it and we also dehydrate a lot of it as well. What we do is dehydrate as a powder um, and then we can sprinkle that into various things or we'll dehydrate tomatoes, sliced tomatoes and we can add those to meals as well. So it's a very useful crop and it's very, very, very nutritious tomatoes. Um, it contains an antioxidant called lycopene which is a very, very powerful antioxidant besides vitamin C, vitamin K, potassium, folate. So it's very, 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 very nutritional rich uh, crop to grow. So what I'll do is I'll dig some holes and what I'll do is I'll um, water the holes first, give a good watering. And then what I'll do is I'll also add um, some comfrey juice and some comfrey leaves to the bottom of each hole as well before I plant stuff into them. So growing them in the border soil is one option. I know other people grow, use grow bags or buckets to grow their tomatoes. Um, I prefer using the border soil because it's a lot cheaper. Um, grow bags cost between four to six pounds. Um, so to fill this greenhouse up with grow bags, I'm looking at sort of 50 to 70, 70 quid's worth of um, grow bags. Um, it's also got benefits, I think. I mean, the roots can go a lot wider um, the, the water pools in the greenhouse soil so if I forget to water for a few days it's not a problem whereas grow bags and buckets you've got to be more sort of uh, organised with your watering so what it also allows if you grow it in, 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 in uh, the border soil I can plant sort of other lettuces or radishes in between the, the plot the um, space as well so you get an extra little crop out of the uh, border soil at the same time 
what I do is I go quite deeply because what I'll do is I'll actually plant the um, tomatoes very deeply, sort of up to the first leaf really. And that allows the roots to develop a lot quicker as well. So I plant them quite deeply. So it's doing a good watering to start with. So the roots have got something to them going to. I'll let that sink in a bit. Juice in the bottom of each hole as well. Let's put a few comfrey leaves in the bottom of each hole as well. Just roughly chop it. Let's put a bit, a little bit in the bottom of each hole. That's it, I'll let the water soak in now for a while. So, a good root system in these. I just divide them off roughly. And just plant a bit deeper than they are. Get a good firming in, and we'll tie these in as well. And I'll give them a good watering as well. Once they're in, so the root system should develop quite well in there. Got a lot of room to work in here. That's 11 money makers in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of um, aubergines in the middle here and then peppers on the outside, I think. So I'm gonna, I've, I tried them in the greenhouse last year, the aubergines, actually, and we didn't get much success. So I'm only going to put a couple in here. I'm going to plant them out actually into the plot later on this year. Maybe sort of uh, middle of May, I think. Middle of May, end of May. We'll see how the weather goes. Some peppers in here as well. See how they go this year. I've got quite a lot of peppers, so what I'll do is I'll plant a, some on the plot as well later on. But I'll put a few in here. As always, I can't remember which ones are which anymore. <laughs> and I've got some bell peppers, I've got some long peppers. But uh, as always, the labelling goes adrift. We'll find out when they grow, so that's not a problem. And the roots are coming right down to the bottom now. Wow. So there shouldn't be too much root disturbance. They've gone straight out of the pot into the soil. So they should be getting away quite well. That last one going in, I'll have to have a clear out before I can do any more. thing about using your own compost to repot stuff I've just found a little marrow in one of the pots and there's tomatoes coming up in this one yeah there you go that's it that's one side done completely today um, thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed the video so that's the start of the tomato growing season which is always exciting because we can't wait for the first tomato to be uh, ready just love the taste of the first tomato when it's ready um, so thanks for watching again hope you've enjoyed the video please give us a leave us a comment or subscribe or give us a like see you again soon give us a watering in as well